So you say, ah, no, she says she speaks like this because she's no longer in government. That is true. That is true. I'm not in government, but I'm, I'm a political animal. I will not, I will not negate that. So I keep myself engaged. I'm still engaged, although I left the government many years back. Now, why it's important to have this initiative, which I salute very, it's precisely because the future, I mean, the future in terms of tomorrow, I'm not talking of 10 years or 20 years from now. The future tomorrow for us, it means that you, as young people, have to have understood precisely the fact that there's no possibility of any one of you to walk without holding hand with your, in this case you can call them neighbors, you can call them, but it, your fellow young people in this region, if you don't do that, you will not succeed. So the importance of these programs is, is, is really to give an opportunity of a, a structured environment in which not only young people will work together with other young people, but also they will have the opportunity to reflect. They will have an opportunity to ask the right questions of what it means that uh, I am because you are. And uh, this region is any region, you know, is, uh, is a region because of its people. It's very important to have the government and we have the parliament and we have all the other political structures. But it, the region, it's people. And as I said, people in this region, majority of them are young. So the region is young people. It's really crucial that you, you expose yourself to this uh, structured and organized interaction. One, so that you'll mutually discover that identity. You have to discover, you have to touch it, you have to feel it, to acknowledge and to discover it. In that process, to accept. It's not tolerance, bent. No, we are not going to tolerate each other. We know when I tolerate somebody, it's because I start from the point of view that he's different from me and he thinks if I have just to tolerate to live with. Uh -uh. It's more than toleration, the, 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 the tolerance we are talking about. It's really mutual acceptance, to accept one another. And to accept another, it's not to acknowledge, I mean, the difference in terms of thinking, of different perspective. No, 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 that is important. We need to think differently because that's make, that makes us strong. But I have to accept that you and I, we have that common destiny. We have that common future. I cannot be myself without you. And that's acceptance. It's more than tolerance. And if you accept somebody, then you, you begin to have the process of understanding. You know, even in a love affair, people begin by just to say, I feel strongly about this person, isn't it? It doesn't mean necessarily that you understand, but in the process then you begin to understand. That's why acceptance for me is the first step. I have to accept that without you, I'm not me. And when I accept that, then I'll try to understand who you are as a human being and what you can bring I mean, in a, in a common bowl for us to live together. So I hope with this program, yes, you'll work in these projects. Yes, you'll work in communities. But more importantly, really open up your minds your hearts to accept 
and to try to understand, at least to build the foundations of understanding. Secondly, this is a movement, or it is expected to be a movement. So yes, when you come back, you have to work in your communities and to develop that sense of identity. But more importantly, you have to stay, to stay connected. Because if you have groups of 20 or 25 who come back to their work in their communities, they can do excellent job. But if they don't continue to connect, then you lose the movement. And the region has to have a solid and strong youth movement. I heard that you are the president of uh, Southern Africa Youth Movement. So these volunteers who are going into this program, they should make your organization, your movement, to get bigger and bigger. And really in where you can feel, and today, thank God, communication is, much, is made much easier. You don't need to travel only. I mean, you have the internet, you have other ways of communicating. But please build a movement of young people who have that deep understanding of uh, where you come from and that your destiny is inseparable and people who understand that uh, you'll be whoever you are if uh, somebody else is so i think also one of the things you may include in your program is to to talk to those who came before you and precisely to talk in the sense of asking them questions. Please ask them questions. What did they do? How did they do? How did we come? There's no way you are going to build a future if you don't understand your past. So talk to, your, to old people like me <laughs> and ask us questions so that in a very modest way we can share with you not that you are going to fight our battles, because they were different. Our, our context was different. But it's simply for you to have the possibility of staying on my shoulders. You can't jump. You need to stand on these shoulders. And I have to be there to sustain you. So that whatever happens in the future, you're not going to break your spine. Because I'm here to sustain you. So what you're going to do to build your future, it has to be based on standing on the shoulders of those who came before you. I wish you all the best. And I want to tell you, you really have my love. I adore, I love talking to young people. And of course, I have a very soft heart with children. But please, bring us to task. And please, remember, your success will be made of knowing how to stand on our shoulders. Thank you.